Assalamualaikum and welcome to another Zilfit TV vlog episode. Um, today we are expecting our big shipment that we spoke about in the Project Zilfit 2.0 uh, series. I'm very excited because what will happen is it will test the current setup that we have right here. We will test how good the rich truck would be in terms of making the work more efficient. We will test whether or not we can fit all these eight crates inside the showroom and arranging them nicely on the storage rack that we have here. So everything that we've done throughout the Project Zilfit 2.0 will be tested today, inshallah. I'm alone here, so we will see how effective and efficient I can be with this new location, with the new equipment, with the new storage rack. Okay, Alhamdulillah, the delivery guys uh, just called me a while ago and they said they're going to be here within probably half an hour. So I'm going to do my prayers first. Hopefully I get it done before they come so that I can focus on unloading the equipment from the, the truck and also onto the, the racks, inshallah. You know what? Um, I've done, I've finished my prayers and they're still not here. Even though they told me that they're going to be here about seven minutes, in seven minutes, and that was half an hour ago. <laughs> but that is the reality of how things are done here in, in my country. Sometimes people, well not sometimes, most of the times people are not punctual. And well, it's fine. I'm not in a rush today as long as they don't come in the next, I don't know, three, four hours. Right, so as long as they come in the next half an hour or so, I'm fine. All right, so I'm just taking out the tools that I need to open up all the boxes. And this is just an impact gun. You can use the drill as well. But I just like to use this one because it's so light. You know? yeah. Speak of the devil. They just came. So I'm, I have to open up the gates now. Uh, you know, sometimes I feel like I shouldn't have done this because it doesn't serve a lot of purpose to be honest. So I just told them to back the truck up inside. It should be easier that way because we don't have to unload it from outside. We can just unload it inside. This is the first time that I'm unloading with the rich truck. So... Do you want to Do you want to go? Yes. Okay. Bismillah. Okay, can? Okay, that was harrowing uh, and I, I think uh, I've learned a few things uh, through that experience. Uh, number one, I am still not good in operating this machine. It's so, it's not complicated, it's confusing because the left is right, right is left and then when you turn the, the, the rich truck, it turns abruptly and I got the accelerator sometimes stuck in the acceleration or this uh, position. And what happens was that, you know, it just jerks forward. Oh, it was so scary. So, but 
So what we did was uh, it wasn't a good idea to for the truck to be backed up all the way in, and because number one we don't have enough space to maneuver this rich truck. So what happened was, so he he moved the truck out and then used the pallet jack to bring all the boxes that you see here uh, down, and then we just used the pallet jack to bring all, everything inside. Now, the last two boxes, however, we actually brought this uh, rich truck out and then. That in itself is, whoa, it was scary. I'm still, I'm still, uh, you know, uh, shaking because uh, our ramp here is very steep and I was supposed to, you know, level it out a little bit so that you can easily um, go in and out uh, of, of the, the, the storage area. But obviously for financial reasons, I've not done it, done it yet. Plus, I also wanted to see how, how, uh, everything is when uh, unloading uh, all this uh, when unloading such a big uh, shipment now i know that i think it is best to unload outside and then bring them in inside so depending on the truck that the the boxes uh, came in with uh, that determines whether or not we need to use the uh, rich truck or just a pallet jack Sometimes it, it comes with a crane. If you've seen the, one of my videos, and I think it was during the project Exhibit 2.0, we had a, a, a small delivery and it was a 10 ton truck with a crane so that the crane actually took all the boxes out and then using the crane, it just drops the, the boxes inside, which I think is the best way because it's so convenient. Um, this is a lot more hard work, but it's still quite fast considering that I think we unloaded three out of seven boxes maybe using this uh, rich truck so it was a little bit faster than uh, if it were if, if we were to use just a pallet jack now uh, that's also because i have no idea how to use this thing i mean i need to get used to it but once i do i believe that this thing can become even uh, smoother right uh, right now Actually, thank God, Alhamdulillah, we actually have one more long pallet and it, it was inside this particular delivery. It's supposed to be in another delivery. I don't know when that's going to come, hopefully in the next, either today, later today or in the next one or two days. Now, thank God that, did, that didn't come uh, just yet because as you can see, the whole storage area is kind of full, especially with this rich truck here. Uh, and that poses uh, a new dilemma because um, if we get a big enough shipment, it would seem that it wouldn't fit everything in. Unless we bring one in and then stack it up and then, uh, you know, once everything is uh, stacked onto the rack, we take them one, down by one by one to unbox and to, you know, to take out all the different uh, equipment and then rearranging them accordingly. But for now, I have time before the long um, box come comes in uh, so I can clear this, this place out um, before before that happens. I'm hoping, yeah, I would like for, for the, that particular crate to come today so that I can settle everything but uh, I'm, I'm okay if it, if it comes a little bit later. But that's, so that's what I've learned of, I still can't believe what I did just now. Um, it was a new experience and uh, now I know that I think if I want to have this rich truck to work inside the storage area, I would require a bigger space. But for the next three years, I have to still be here unless I magically stumble upon a stack of uh, cash <laughs> and I can move out to a bigger warehouse, inshallah. But I think for now, it's about making the best of uh, the things that I have. Okay. So let's unpack everything uh, as, as fast as possible and hopefully we get this space cleared out for the last crate to arrive. So we've got seven boxes today. One, two, three, this is four, five, that's six, and that's seven. It's been probably close to an hour and I'm not even a quarter of the way done. Uh, it, it seems that uh, it's harder than I thought it was uh, going to be. 
Uh, that's because it's just the space to maneuver the ridge truck uh, that's causing the problem. Plus, um, the way that the pallets were arranged, uh, it was it's difficult for me to actually use the ridge truck to because it has to be in, in a certain position, right? It cannot be um, like a horizontal. It has to be not say horizontal. It cannot be like this way. It has to be this way, and for the ridge truck to lift it up and then put it on the rack. So I had to use the um, manual stacker, oh, sorry, the, the pallet jack. Got to move some things around first and then align some of the pallets so that I can use the ridge truck to then lift up one of the pallets and put it on top of the, the rack. So that took quite a while. For today, I guess I, I, I want to get everything done. I want to get everything put away. Uh, as quickly as possible so that tomorrow when I come and prob maybe probably tomorrow and Friday I'll rearrange some of the uh, equipment according to my customer's order and then start shipping them out. Okay guys, as I expected, I couldn't finish the job today because there's just too much to do uh, especially if uh, I'm doing it by myself but I think I've accomplished quite a bit. Um, one of the most important things that uh, I've done for today is to clear up the space inside the storage area so as you can see there's a lot of space there because tomorrow we have one big crate that's coming in which is 3.2 meters long um, so I need this, that space to be available so what I did for today I've arranged the plates according to the it's uh, according to the type so let me just show you right over here is the volcano uh, plates over here is the competition kettlebell um, right up there that's the sport training uh, plates but uh, 25 kg only I have not had the time to actually sort out the, the rest of the sport training plates and as you can see in there so there's a bunch of uh, uh, sport training plates in there, 10s, 15s, 20s, um, what else, yep, so uh, apart from that, if you can see, that one is the IWF plates, and that one is the, uh, what is that, oh, that, that actually is the, one of the used spot training plates that I have that I've already sold to a customer so since it's not going out anytime soon so I decided to just put it up there it was uh, down here uh, previously uh, what I put down here right there <laughs> like, like, right there that's the XF bumper okay so everything has been sorted out uh, according to the type of plate so that it's easy for me to just take it out and then whenever a customer wants to buy something in fact I have not yet um, I've not yet arranged um, the orders, of my, my customers' pre-orders yet. The only thing that I've done is, uh, you can follow me, is that right there. So all of those actually is, go, is going to one particular customer and that's one, one of the large one of my uh, largest order, I think, for, for this financial year. So, Alhamdulillah. Uh, and that's not everything. So, uh, if I can show you, right there. So, what's, what's there is actually some squat stands, um, uh, just, I think adjustable benches, and uh, I think one or two flat benches. Uh, and then, not only that, um, if I can turn the camera again, uh, you guys must be very dizzy by now. This one right here is actually the open deadlift bar. So all of them have been taken, alhamdulillah. I was quite worried about whenever I buy the open deadlift bar because uh, it's not the bar that people are used to yet, uh, I think, but it's gaining a lot of traction. So every time I bring bring in the uh, open deadlift bar alhamdulillah i managed to sell all of them and the turnaround time is not uh, that long so that's the reason why i bought actually i bought three um, and I, I just took a gamble and just you know purchased three uh, even the uh, squat stand 
uh, the squat stand is considerably quite, I mean, consider relatively quite expensive. And uh, it's not something that uh, I bring in a lot, but whenever I do bring them, Alhamdulillah, again, uh, there are customers who, who need such a, a rack, you know, because they want something that is more mobile instead of something that is permanently going to be uh, in a particular uh, space in, in, the, in their home gym, right? Because the squat stand is, you can easily disassemble it or you can just move it uh, to a corner in the house or something like that. So Alhamdulillah uh, for that as well. So the only thing that is not here is the, the hybrid bars. Uh, some of the bars, I can't remember what. Uh, there's also the, the light squat stand, the galvanized light, uh, sorry, the light, uh, the, the light rack and the galvanized light rack. So those are in the, the other crate, which is coming inshallah tomorrow. So uh, it's already seven o'clock uh, at night here. And as I mentioned to you before, I'm not gonna stay here beyond that. Uh, I'm just gonna head out. So I'm gonna continue this tomorrow inshallah. So it's morning now and uh, I just came in and I wanna get right to work, uh, sorting out all this um, equipment. So the goal for today is to unpack everything and then to rearrange the equipment uh, on the rack as well as to set aside those pre-orders. I'm about done now uh, with the shipment that came in yesterday. Uh, as I mentioned, there's going to be one more uh, that's coming. That's probably going to come uh, after lunch. That's how they usually do it. <laughs> but at least um, if I can get everything cleared up uh, in this uh, storage area, then uh, I think we're fine. Um, so just to let you know what I just did, um, basically, you can see up there, everything is already um, arranged properly and neatly. Um, what I want to emulate is actually the storage area in uh, Hamstad. So I visited them twice before already and um, the warehouse looks so clean and so... It's like Ikea. When you go to Ikea, you know, the storage area is exactly like that. You know, so I want to do something similar. Obviously that, you know, doing it by myself without any previous experience of uh, doing, uh, running uh, an inventory like this and stocking, stocking up. Um, there's a lot, a lot of things that uh, I need to, to learn, obviously, and also um, and on how to manage inventory and how to arrange them in a way that you know, it's easy for, for from it's it's easy from the point of order all the way to fulfillment, right? Furthermore, if you can see how I've already arranged all these racks, right? This this orange beams, um, they're not optimum because um, I should have lowered this down a little bit so that I have space on this level. And if you can see here, that's just too much space. Probably perhaps I can just bring one down a little bit so it doesn't go up too high. Or maybe what I can do is just take this one up and then maybe this space can be a bit higher. But obviously the reason for, for this is that if you look at the bottom here, there's, another, there's a beam. And that's because when there's a heavy rain, uh, usually water will come in. And it's better for me to just put it on top of a bin, as I mentioned in the uh, Project Zilfi 2.0. So that right there are all the sport training plates that I have right now. So th this is this is considered um, quite a lot for the Malaysian market, and uh, it, it is a big risk that I'm taking. I'm I'm hoping that the Malaysian market will support the. Uh, will support Zilfit and that this will be the turnaround quite quite fast uh, inshallah I'm hoping within three months but sometimes I know that that might be a bit too uh, far-fetched but you know I always dream and I always hope inshallah this is my effort to make sure that you guys especially in Malaysia and Singapore by the way will not have to wait too long to get your plates at least. Today is a uh, Monday 
if you remember, the last shipment came on Wednesday. So, on Thursday, they said they were going to come. They didn't. On Friday, they said they were going to come. Their truck broke down. <laughs> and then they said on Saturday, they were going to come. Something happened with their internal system that they couldn't... Uh, that they couldn't, they, they weren't able to, to deliver as well. So we are here today on Monday with the final um, cargo. I didn't get a chance to actually shoot the, um, the way we actually unload this particular crate from the truck because it was a three, three, three ton truck and this thing is three meters long. What happened was that the trucker actually went over to one of my neighbors to ask them to help us out unload the 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 the, the crate so they have a a, a forklift and apparently uh, my rich truck is not able to to actually you know go deep enough inside the truck to pull it out and so they used the forklift and then they brought it out a little bit and then i used my rich truck and you know go from the side to just lift the, the crate and then the truck uh, moves forward so and then the crate was uh, just hanging on my, my rich truck so then we brought it down and the uh, forklift actually brought it inside so what I'm going to do now is just to probably use the pilot jack and just bring it out just a little bit so I have access to the screws on the side okay let's see what we have here oh, so so much uh, dust. So we've got the hybrid bar right over here. So I bought five of them. I think uh, one or two have been pre-ordered. So I have to unload all of this out. And then at the bottom of the of the crate is the performance weightlifting platform, which I will not be able to carry out carry the carry it out alone uh, because it's just too heavy. Um, the rest, um, what is this? Oh, this should be the the one half of the squat stand, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, one half of the squat stand. So I have two. Uh, so these customers, the two customers, <laughs> have been waiting since last week, but I could not deliver that to them because one half was delivered on Wednesday and the other half just today okay so now we have this is the IWF corner and it comes in a nice little box and tada can you see it yeah tada oh so this particular performance weightlifting uh, platform is supposed to be uh, a showroom unit and I'm supposed to put it up there but I don't know I feel like if somebody wants it, I might just as well uh, sell it and then use that profit to buy another uh, platform. Okay, what else do we have here? Uh, we have three light racks. Two of them is a normal XF80 black half rack, uh, sorry, light rack. And the other one is the galvanized one. So I wanted to test, test the market to see if anybody was interested in getting the galvanized light rack. Um, if you remember, I have the half rack, the galvanized half rack, but I think that might be too expensive for most people. And I feel that the galvanized light rack would be more affordable, affordable to a lot more people. And uh, plus it's something that they can put outside, either in their porch or in their, in their garden. And, uh, and if they need to move it, it's, it's, um, it's so much easier to move that than the the galvanized half rack so that's the experiment uh, i hope that somebody will pick it up soon and then uh, i also have a short bar somewhere in here uh, that's a pre-order from another customer that bought the classic squat stand and i believe that's it i like to end this video here because i think uh, i've shared uh, what i intended to share now that now that we are on the fourth or fifth day, I can't remember what was the reason why I did this video. I think uh, I think it was probably to see how well that you know this whole this new 
this new place uh, can handle all these uh, big shipments and how well, uh, how much we can stack on, on the rack. So I've discovered a few things. I've learned a lot of things uh, uh, throughout this particular shipment and uh, hopefully we can do some improvement. Uh, I think especially we can buy more beams on the racks and then get one or two more levels so that we can store more, more equipment. Uh, apart from that, some of the things I cannot really change. Um, I noticed that the rack is too close to the wall. Um, yeah, there's, there's one piping up there that, that prevents me from um, uh, actually put the, the pallets way to the back, uh, closer to the wall because, because of the pipe is, is, is blocking, um, blocking the way. So nothing I can do about that, but uh, apart from that, uh, I've learned how to maneuver the uh, rich truck better. And uh, not there yet. Uh, I'm still scared of handling this piece of equipment because sometimes it just jerks forward and moves backward and uh, that's, that's kind of scary. Also, I've, I noticed that, that there's probably certain things that I want to get rid of and which, which are not stocks really, it's just some of my junks and uh, uh, once I get those cleared out, I should have more space and, and that's something that I, that I want, especially when I store um, things like this, more squat stands, more benches and, and, and things like that. Um, for now, we have uh, enough space for the plates. Uh, we have some space for the bars which, which we'll put on the wall, uh, on the, on the uh, barbell rack uh, and uh, the rest will probably end up on the floor. Lastly. I need to get rid of this particular crate because this is not going to work. I have no space to put, put this anywhere except on the floor and we cannot put it uh, on the rack because it's too long and I cannot put it on my custom rack above the, uh, the, above the restroom because that's already full with uh, boxes. So either we uh, recycle this particular crate and uh, or I'll just give it away to whoever wants to you know build something from out of it you know so okay guys uh i know it's been long and uh but thank you for watching and uh if you're new to this, this channel please do subscribe to our channel uh, don't forget to turn on the notifications so that anytime we come up with new videos which we will inshallah uh, you'll get notified uh okay so this is it for this particular vlog i hope to see you again in the next zufit tv episode bye